What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial on JS Psych. For today's tutorial, we will continue and create the rest of the experiment, which is the experiment instructions, the experimental trials, and the debrief. This is fairly a repetition of what we have done in the previous tutorial, where we create instructions, we create our experiment trials. And for the debrief, it, it is similar to creating instructions, but it is a debrief. So let's start by creating our instruct, uh, experimental instructions. So var experimental and we can just copy right from the previous section here just to save some time. But in practice, you can copy yourself if you want more practice. So the screen ID here is going to be experiment instructions instead of instructions. So we know that this instruction is just for the set of experiment. It's for the experiment instead of the practice block. So let's tell them the practice session has ended. So we have completed our practice. And then let them know the instructions again, what the task is about. Remember, if the color is circle, if the color of the circle is blue, press left. If the, if the color is orange, press right. And then we can add the next one. We will begin the experiment soon. Okay, so we have our experimental instructions. <clears throat> now for the experimental trials, since we have all the procedure here, we just need to copy that below and call it experimental procedure. And we do need a feedback trial because it's a, it, it is an experimental block. So they're not supposed to have feedback anymore because they are supposed to know how to um, run to complete or to complete the experiment or to do the experiment. So let's set repetition at five and modify the procedure in the practice run to one. And right now we have our experimental block and we should be able to create the debrief, which is also similar to instructions. So debrief. Data. Remember you have the data, the type. We just copy. So the screen ID is debrief. So we have completed, completed our experiment. And we tell them to notify the experimenter. If you're doing it in, in the lab or if you're doing it online, please close the screen. Yeah, let's just say, please contact experimenter. Please contact the experiment. So this is from the practice round. And let's change it a little bit to practice procedure. So we know which procedure belongs to which block. So right now, let me close fold the code and see what we do not have. So we need to toggle this off. We need the experimental instructions. This is too long. Let's keep it short. X instructions. 
we need the experimental procedure, we need the debrief. So this is our new timeline for now. And we can test it. Let me put it here. So we have completed our practice. Remember, if the color is blue, press the left. If the color is orange, press the right. So we're just going to show them the instructions again and tell them we're going to be begin the experiment right now. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so it seems to be working. So let's check. So we have the view history. We have the stimulus. And I think we don't have the response. Okay, press this now. Might be too slow, but we have the response. Picture, fixation, trial. That's the response. Seems like we have everything we need. <clears throat> so right now we can test everything. Um, for practice procedure, let's put it here. And so we have our whole set of timeline from welcome to the end. So we can test it by refreshing the screen. So welcome to experiment instructions, practice, correct. So we just did one, um, one set. So this is now the experimental instructions practice has ended. We will begin the experiment. So we've come to the experiment. Welcome. We have everything from feedback, fixation, trial, everything. So there we go. We have completed um, the simple choice, simple reaction time task in your site. So, but there's still more work to do. So in, in the next few tutorials, I will share on how to make it more precise to for example, to create blocks of, to create a block for the practice and create a block for the experiment and also to share how to save the data and also how to create factorial designs. Let's say for example, we have maybe ITI, maybe it might be one factor you want to look at or maybe how long the stimulus is being shown is another factor you want to look at. So we have three factors. How do you create a factorial design um, in JSI? So we're gonna look more into that in the next few tutorials. So stay tuned.